So today I'm opening up uh, House of X Wolverine uh, from Marvel Legends series. Now I've already got a 2004 one uh, who is in the similar brown costume, though as you can already see the belt buckle is different between the two. Now House of X was a story from a few years ago that really changed the status quo for the X-Men um, and put them off in a better place in the world and here he is in his costume there. Now all of these figures are available in the wave uh, on the back and they all except Wolverine construct uh, the Tri-Sentinel builder figure. So, open it up. So, here he is. Uh, I don't know yet whether the claws are detachable. I'll have a play about with that afterwards. Uh, he moves nicely. I like this head. He does come with an alternate head. here with like a, like a, a beard going on. Uh, paints a bit whiffy on the nose, but uh, otherwise I think he's a, I think he's an excellent figure. I think he's a great sculpt. I like the detail with the boots, the belt buckle. Um, the hair's always good. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely one of my favorite costumes. Uh, so it first appeared in this comic here, but actually, as you can see, the cover is misprinted. He's got his uh, yellow and blue, but inside he is into brown costume. And then it's featured on the front cover of some absolute classics. There he is fighting Wendigo, fighting Sabretooth, and fighting Havoc who they should be friends. Question is though, can you ever have too many Wolverines? Now I think he's great. Um, I think he is better than the 2004 version. Uh, he is absolutely better than the Stinker that is the Age of the Apocalypse version that has the largest head Wolverine has ever seen. And I think he's on par with the very excellent X-Force version. Um, I like all of them. Definitely not as good as the Secret Wars version, though, who still remains an absolute classic. And thank you very much for watching. Oh. <sighs>